Welcome to Colorado. I'm in the middle of the state surrounded by these gorgeous mountains for the seventh biennial Mini Takes the States event. Now this is an event where about 5,000 mini owners from across the country meet up here in Keystone Resort. Now these mini owners are very much enthusiasts of the brand. You can see around me, there are so many cars around here from the Mini Cooper to the Mini Clubman to the Mini Countryman. And I'm actually out here because Harman Kardon has flown me out here to experience this event and then drive a couple of brand new 2018 Mini Coopers. Yesterday I got a chance to drive the Mini Cooper Clubman S and today they've given me a Mini Cooper Clubman John Cooper Works. That's right, their in-house performance division. So in this video, we're gonna go over the Mini Takes the States events, maybe talk to a couple of owners, and then we're gonna go into a deep dive about the Harman Kardon premium sound system. So come along for the ride and enjoy the show. So it's our first day here in Colorado. We're in Durango. This is kind of actually day six. We are driving from Durango to Keystone. It's about a six hour drive, about 300 miles. Uh, and we're riding with all of the mini owners. There's a lot of people here, about 5,000 mini owners from across the country have come together and uh, meet in the middle in Keystone, um, Colorado. Some of them came from Florida and, Orlando, and Miami and then the others came from Portland, Oregon. So uh, be sure to follow us. We're gonna be showing you all the drive routes, showing um, how this car our drives, all the scenery we're going to see, and uh, we're going to talk about the audio system along the way because, you know, when we're on a long road trip, the music really matters. So a little fun fact about Harman as a brand, and you guys probably don't realize this, but they actually own eight different speaker systems throughout so many other manufacturers. In addition, in addition to Harman Kardon, they also own brands like JBL, Mark Levinson, Infinity, Revel, and you know those $6,000 premium audio upgrades that you find in a lot of European products? Bang & Olufsen and Bowers and & Wilkins is also under the Harman brand. Now, so many people are really unaware of the actual specifications of their audio system. So I've got this 2018 Mini Cooper Clubman John Cooper Works, which has the 12 speaker Harman Kardon premium sound system. Let's get in it and see where actually all those speakers are and what makes it sound so good. So I'm gonna do my best to not get too technical with the actual specs of the audio system. But if you wanna follow me into the interior of the Mini Cooper Clubman John Cooper Works. Now the premium Harman Kardon sound system in this car has 12 speakers. Um, there are basically five tweeter speakers. You're gonna find two up here on the dash, uh, another one here in the center. There's two more on the doors. There's five mid-range speakers, which again, there's three up here, two in the actual rear doors. And then Mini or Harman puts the actual subwoofers underneath the front seats. So the fact that they were able to pack 12 speakers in this tiny cabin is a big deal. Now, if you're keeping score, this is actually twice the amount of um, speakers versus the standard audio system. And with 360 watts of power, um, you're looking at nearly or over double the actual power versus the standard audio system. Now, 360 watts doesn't sound great on paper. However, Harman has worked extensively to kind of strategically place all the speakers in this car. So what you're gonna hear is a lot of rich, um, powerful, deep tones, and the under seat subwoofers in this car really do a good job of, you know, giving you a bass heavy note without it being completely 
overpowering. Now, I know the audio system is really difficult to actually show you guys on video, but I encourage you the next time you're actually in a Mini Cooper or any uh, one of the brands that Harman actually has under their umbrella to really try out um, your favorite tunes. And make sure you guys are playing it from something, a high quality source like a USB thumb drive where you actually have the original music. Uh, things like satellite radio or pirated music really will compress it. Although there are features in a lot of Harman Kardon stereos like Clarify technology that will try to go in and restore a lot of compressed audio files. You really need to do yourself a favor and listen to it from the original source. But I mean, overall, uh, at 850 bucks, the audio system upgrade in this car is definitely worth the actual cost if you guys are true audiophiles. So we just passed this uh, little town called Silverton, and we're still about 300 miles away from Keystone Resort. Um, GPS says we should get there around uh, 7 o'clock tonight, which this is mountain time, so we're two hours behind our normal Eastern Standard Time. But the one thing I want to mention is, uh, sitting here in the passenger seat, the fact that there are no guardrails around here, uh, and these huge drops, kind of makes it a little bit scary. So we've been driving about another maybe two hours or so. We still have another three hours to go until we get to our destination. Uh, GPS says we'll get there at around 7.20 p.m. or about 190 miles. Um, the Mini has been doing great. It uh, has been averaging around 31 miles to the gallon on this uh, long road trip and thankfully we've kind of left the mountains and are kind of on these straight, long straight roads that uh, have pretty minimal traffic aside from a few cars here and there. So it's day seven. This is where all the mini owners from the east and the west coast have finally met up. And they're actually leaving right now for the first drive. Uh, because we're out here in the mountains, there's a lot of curvy roads that are alongside a mountain cliff. So all of these owners are basically heading out right now to go on a, I believe it's a 110 mile drive that's gonna last about an hour and a half or so. There's another one starting at 11.30 that we'll be doing uh, called the Triple Bypass. But you can see here so many different mini cars to look at. I mean, people have literally customized their car to their actual liking. It's very similar to the uh, Beetle Sunshine tour I did in Germany uh, last summer, but it's really great to see a lot of people have so much passion uh, for this brand and really customize their cars to their liking. That blue convertible right there, that one is really sharp. I love the wheels, love the color. Love that it's a S model. So as you can see, there are so many different types of minis here from the regular mini hatchback to the mini convertible. Uh, there right there is the original mini Clubman, uh, which is the first generation. Then of course behind it, you've got the mini Countryman. I think out of the entire mini lineup, I wanna say the Countryman's probably their best seller because it's an SUV and that's what everybody buys. But it also has the room and the space and it has all wheel drive that a lot of uh, people here in America are really gonna appreciate. So one of the best things about the Mini Takes the State event is being able to talk to several Mini owners about their vehicles and some of the favorite features. So today I'm actually um, talking to an owner that is right in, fr in my backyard. The this is Melissa and Axe, uh, and they're from actually the DC area. They drove here from, where'd you guys drive here from again? Clarksburg, Maryland. Clarksburg, Maryland. I actually, am, I'm from Falls Church, so it's probably like an hour from me. So that's that's really great, small world. But again, did you, and where did you guys start the, the actual drive? Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. Okay, so you drove from Maryland to Portland, Oregon. And what yes. day did you guys actually leave? Uh, July 8th or 9th, something like that. Wow, so it's <laughs> been a good two weeks on the road? Two weeks on the road. And how many miles have you put on your, your car? Which by the way, first tell, tell me about your car. What, what year is it? What it's is it? It's a 2016 Countryman S. Okay. 
and I bought it with 5,000 miles on it about a year and a half ago. Okay. It's now got about 50,000 miles on it. Wow, so you do a lot of driving. I do. How many how many miles a day would you say you drive on your daily commute? 70 mile round trip commute. Wow, wow. And honestly, when I was out this with this car, I drove from Durango to Keystone here, which is like 300 miles, and I was getting like 31 miles to the gallon. So this is a really great car because I put $25 in it and I got another full tank, basically. Right. So, um, but no, I mean, your car looks great. Can you tell me a little bit about the customizations you've done? I like the pink. It matches Thank your you. shoes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the car came first and the shoes followed the car. Okay. So we had the stripes put on and I had the pink side scuttles from my last car. Mm -hmm. And we have the pink S just to give it little hints and touches to make it different from everybody else. No, it's, it's very subtle, but the pink <laughs> definitely makes it pop. So how many miles have you guys put on it since July 9th? About 7,000. 7,000, which means they've had to probably change the oil at one point. <laughs> we change the oil in Portland, Oregon, okay. and we'll brake do check. it again, and a brake check. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We'll do that again when we get home, new right. tires. Well, it definitely looks like it's been running for the last 7,000 miles, but I mean, the, the black does hide it. It honestly looks like it's still, it, just get it washed, it looks like a brand new car exactly. still. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, obviously when you guys have been driving this much, what's your favorite feature on the inside? The stereo. The sound system. Yeah, I mean, I actually was driving with the Harman Kardon, the 12 speakers, and with the windows down, blasting my my uh, EPM or BPM dance music. It's it's probably <laughs> <laughs> well. That's kind of, I, when I drive, I like to blast music that's very, I guess, upbeat because it yeah, makes, it keeps you going. Yeah, it keeps me going because I will probably fall asleep. I don't like to drive boring cars. Life is too short to drive boring cars. My <laughs> old stick car had a sticker that said that. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that's perfect. That's that's the beauty about cars is like and you can take them on road trips and you know they can be a, a great tool to just kind of, I guess, escape life. It's a great thing to just drive, especially around here. The mountains are absolutely beautiful. But I want to thank you guys so much for uh, talking to me about your car. And uh, are you guys driving home tomorrow, I'm guessing? Yeah, we yeah. leave tomorrow. About a three, four day trip home. OK, that's not too bad. Yeah, are we're kind of balling it. Are you excited to go back home? Kind of. We miss our dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's, I have a cat at home, so I miss my cat. I've been on the road several times for several days as well. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. Thanks a lot. Your car's great. Pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm here at Mini Takes the States and I was able to find another Mini enthusiast. Would you please introduce yourself and tell me about the uh, car you drove here? Of course. My name is Dale Taylor and I'm from uh, Missouri. I have a uh, Mini Cooper hardtop and it's an 09. So you, you're you from Missouri. Which route did you do? Did you do the east or the western route? I did the uh, eastern route. So, I mean, this has been a long trip for you. What would you say the uh, your favorite feature on the interior is? Favorite feature? Gotta yeah, love the music. The music, okay. <laughs> what uh, what kind of music have you been uh, listening to on your way here? I, I've been listening to a lot of, uh, let's see here. There's some easy listening, a lot of techno, a lot okay. of um, rock. Just uh, a variety of stuff, basically. That's just what, about everything. Well, you have to listen to a variety because it's it's a long trip. Now, I, you mentioned earlier this is not your only mini. Tell me about the other one you have at home. So I have a uh, Jungle Green uh, 2016 uh, Countryman S. Okay, Countryman S, okay. Yes. That's a nice choice. Um, I know that uh, you said music is very important. Does that one have the Harman Kardon stereo system it's in it? It's got the full setup. Nice. I want to thank you, Dale, for uh, your, your time sharing with us your mini. Great choice on the, uh, the manual transmission <laughs> and the sound system. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can I get an exhaust clip? So Mini Takes the States is an incredible week-long journey for over 5,000 Mini owners across America. And one thing I've learned about this event is just how incredibly enthusiastic Mini owners are about their cars. If you guys are considering this brand, just being able to participate in Mini Takes the States may be reason alone for actually choosing one. Now, at the end of the day, driving these Fun cars on those twisty mountain roads is great, but you're also gonna want an incredibly great sounding stereo system to kind of help you surrender yourself to sound. And the Harman Kardon sound system in this car also will equally deliver the goods. If you guys are considering uh, getting one of these, you may also want to consider ticking the option box for that premium Harman Kardon sound system. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching as always. I also want to thank Minnie and Harman uh, for sending me out here to experience this event for the very first time. If you guys are also looking to see the latest cars I'm testing, make sure you follow me on Instagram at redline underscore reviews. Like us on Facebook, and as always, please keep subscribing to the Redline Reviews YouTube channel for all the latest reviews. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you all in the next video.